what's up y'all it's your girl Aaliyah back with another video so if you guys don't know me my name is Aaliyah Clark I'm your favorite North Carolina realtor also South Carolina Virginia and Georgia <laughs> currently we are active in North Carolina I'm with Costola Real Estate and Investment so today I'm gonna be telling you guys how much it's gonna cost you to sell your home in Charlotte North Carolina so if you guys are thinking about selling your home I'm gonna do a shameless plug before I even get into the information I promise I'm gonna give you guys some value I promise if you guys are thinking about selling your home contact me I will leave my contact information down below please don't hesitate to ask me any questions that you have and I will ensure that I answer them in an extremely timely manner okay let's go ahead and hop into this so remember that all of these figures are purely just estimates and ultimately it's gonna come down to the selling price and also please 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 remember that these literally everything is negotiable okay everything is negotiable so don't, don't think that you know oh we're not gonna be able to have on the price da, 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 da. look I'm, I'm gonna be i'm gonna get you right okay so don't even worry about that okay so <clears throat> let's go ahead and start i'm gonna keep i got my i have my laptop here so if you guys see me looking down please don't don't think i'm being rude okay i'm gonna be looking at my laptop so i can make sure that i'm staying on track with my notes so the first thing that you may end up having to pay for is repair so that could easily be like two to three percent of what your um sale price is so say for instance okay we're gonna keep it simple okay if you're selling a hundred thousand dollar house or yeah let's keep that a hundred thousand dollars no we want to sell like you know the million dollar houses but you know it's okay it's okay it's okay we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna just say you're selling a hundred thousand dollar house right two to three percent obviously it's gonna be two to three thousand dollars of that price pretty much so or taking off of that hundred thousand dollar price so you're more than likely i would suggest to renovate the kitchen in the bathrooms those are always like good selling points okay nobody wants like a, a outdated kitchen and nobody wants an outdated bathroom like you know those bathrooms I, oh my god let me tell y'all okay i'm gonna i'm gonna I'm a, i swear i'm gonna get back on track i'm gonna get back on track i promise okay y'all i literally showed a house the other day and it had carpet in the bathroom i wish i would have took a picture so y'all could see it had carpet there was literally carpets in the bathroom who can't who coming up with these ideas don't do that like don't do that to people you can put a rug down don't put no why you putting the carpet with that carpet in the bathroom like that like I'm, okay i'm sorry <clears throat> You know, I, this is, I'm gonna be 100% me, you know what I mean? I love talking to, you know, you guys professionally and things, but at the end of the day, <laughs> we gotta keep this interesting, okay? But anyway, so yeah, the kitchen and the bathrooms are gonna be your selling point. So if you're gonna make any repairs, if you're going to make any repairs, that is what I would repair, is the kitchen and the bathroom. So um, you can either do this before or after. So when I say that, I mean that if you decide that you're gonna list your home, you can make those repairs before you list the home or you can give the buyers a credit and they can fix it themselves or you don't have to do anything at all you don't have to give them anything or like you don't you don't necessarily have to do any of that you know what i mean it ultimately just comes down to what you want to do now there are some pros and some cons to each one of those selections right so if you do it before then clearly the con is that you're going to probably have to come out of pocket with the money you know initially you know you're gonna have to pay but but your home may get sold quicker because it's already updated. The buyers don't have to make any repairs. If you do it after, say for instance, you decide that you want to give the, the buyers a credit to fix it themselves, then you know the, the con is that you're you're gonna have to give them a credit to fix it themselves when you may could you could have potentially fixed it for cheaper, you know what I mean? You know, but then again, the pro is that you may end up selling your property quicker because you're giving them money. And then the the last one where you don't have to give them anything at all, like the pro is that you don't come out of pocket with anything and the con is that they may not like that they may not they they it might be too much for them they may be like you know what i don't i don't want to do that you know what i mean let's just not even do it so you know we kind of got to weigh our options you know what i mean <clears throat> so when you're updating your kitchen and your bathroom appliances cabinets sink faucet good you know what i mean people do like hardwood floor too i'm gonna say that i'm gonna say that they like hardwood floor you know they don't it don't gotta be real hardwood floor you know what i mean it don't gotta be real you know We'll figure it out. But anyway, um, and then paint does wonders. Oh my goodness. Like when I tell you, I've seen like terrible paint jobs and I've seen some very, very beautiful paint jobs. So if you're going to get your house painted, please get it painted by a professional or somebody that knows what they're doing. You know, because if you get a whack paint job, yeah, those buyers are not going to like that. They're not gonna like that. We that home that had the carpet in it. I literally saw where they had painted like the window seal with the glass, and they were like, I guess they were just like maybe they were in a hurry or something, but they painted the window. Why did you do that? Anyway, <laughs> okay, so on from that, realtor commissions. Woo! Okay, anyway, 
anyway. Realtor commissions are negotiable as well. We are not allowed to price fix, so you know, there's that, you know what I mean? So if you were to work with a real estate agent, you guys would negotiate about how much, you know, their commission would be. Um, basically, they would need to tell you like, hey, like, you know, this is the reason why I deserve to get paid this much, you know what I mean? Um, and these are, this is what I'm gonna offer you. This is the value that I'm gonna bring to you. This is how I'm gonna market your property. Me, like, like obviously I'm gonna sell your house, like the best, okay? I'm very personal as, I mean, other agents are personal too, but like I'm extremely savvy when it comes to marketing, I would say. I mean, obviously you're here watching me. <laughs> so I wouldn't even worry about, you know, me marketing your home because literally every chance that I get to put your home on social media to be marketed, it's gonna be on there. When it comes to an open house, we will have an open house. We will be literally doing everything to market your property. So like, you know, some other agents, they might say, oh, I'm gonna send out some flyers or, you know, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna post it on the MLS and da 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 Guys, I'm gonna do way more, okay? I'm not gonna go into depth. When you book your appointment with me to list your home, then we will go into depth and I will let you guys know exactly how I'm gonna market your property because guess what? I'm nothing to be played with. Yeah, I I mean, I'm, I'm kinda like, you know, I'm boosting, you know, right now. But like, no, honestly, like I'm, uh, I don't have to like tell you guys that I'm a good agent for you guys to know it. Um, but anyway. I kind of went on a little rant there. Sorry. Um, anyway, so yeah, your your realtor commission. So typically the seller is going to pay for the seller's agent. So you would pay for me if I was your agent. And then you would also pay for the buyer's agent. That is just typically how it goes. Um, or I say for instance, if I were to bring you a buyer, then you would just pay both commissions to me. You know what I mean? But anyway, let's move on. Um, then closing costs. So closing costs is definitely like one of those big ticket things that is gonna hit your pockets when it's time to sell your home so there's a couple of things that could be like another one to three percent of your sale price so it's going to be your title services your uh, owner's title insurance transfer tax recording fee and other costs that may be literally what i have in my notes um but yeah those are just like miscellaneous fees that are gonna you know come out of your closing costs you depending on what you negotiated with the buyer may end up paying their closing costs you know what i mean just depending on how they structure the deal you know if it makes sense to pay their closing costs and you know they're giving you a good offer you know whatever but if they're like trying to lowball you and do all of this like and it doesn't really make sense to do uh, a uh pay for their closing costs then i mean you won't really have to worry about that but there is a potential that you may you know decide that it might be more beneficial to pay for their closing costs so yeah those are what you would pay for um when it's time to sell your home in north carolina so <laughs> thank you guys for watching i really 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 appreciate each and every single one of you for taking the time to spend with me so once again i am your favorite north carolina real estate agent based out of charlotte north carolina i'm also licensed in virginia south carolina and georgia actually i am i'm only active in north carolina right now check for more videos because i'm sure by the time you know you guys need me i will be licensed i mean i'm licensed i will be you know ready to go um and with a brokerage in uh those other states so i'll be able to represent you guys but yeah those are your costs when it comes to selling your home here in north carolina so again i appreciate each and every single one of you guys make sure to go ahead and like comment subscribe to your channel and remember my contact information is down below so don't hesitate to reach out to me if you guys need any help or if you have any questions no obligation so <laughs> i will talk to you guys in the next video